tayo po ay nagbabalik dito sa Real Talk, ang ating pong segment na kung saan ang mga tunay na sitwasyon at mga totoong tao ang nagkikwento ng kanilang mga naranasan sa buhay. Ngayon po, we are so blessed because uh, pinaunlakan po tayo ngayong umagang ito ng ating pong pinakamamahal at napakasarap magluto po talaga. <laughs> favorite na favorite po ko po yung kanyang pork asado at ang kanyang kare-kare. At talaga pong grabe po siya magbigay po ng service po talaga dito sa atin sa Life Church, the home of champions. So ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome the ever beautiful Tita Evie Quadra. <laughs> well, thank you so much for welcoming me and inviting me to be part of this real talk. Totoo na to. <laughs> yes. O, so, Tita Evie, batiin niyo muna po yung mga na nanonood po sa inyo ngayon, ang inyo pong ka-network, ang inyo pong family. Yes. Lo, so, <laughs> binabati ko yung aking little girl, wow. my little angel, <laughs> Patricia <laughs> and Jay and my brothers and sisters and also my network Uh, family, thank you for listening. Yes. And everyone who is listening, I hope and pray that you will receive something from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Napakaganda po ng ating topic ngayon dahil po ang pag-uusapan po natin ay papaano po na-overcome po ni Miss Evie Quadra ang talagang dinanas niyang napakalaking challenge sa buhay. So, if you're watching right now and kayo po ay nakaranas po talaga ng grabe pong tinding karamdaman na akala po natin ay wala ng pag-asa, wala ng kagalingan, I want you to stay tuned with us dahil po napakaganda po ng testimony po ni Tita Evie. Makikita natin how God is miraculously working po sa ating mga buhay. Ang ating pong segment ngayon ay pinamagatang There Can Be Miracles When You Believe, The Second Life Tita Evie Has Received. Bago tayo magpatuloy, Amen. nais nating batiin yung mga nakikinig sa atin ngayon, si Miss uh, Joe Quirante, uh, ang uh, yung Dairit Store. Nako, marami po sila dyan. Jane Barrientos, si Ma'am Risa, Ma Miss Fayin Gar Gardiano, eto si Miss Ruth Dalnay na malapit ng ikasal, <laughs> Miss Reggie Alcusaba, Miss Ira Abian, Miss Hana Lobaton na guest natin kahapon. So, to give us a brief background po ng kanyang sarili para mas makilala po natin si Tita Evie. Tita Evie, kwentohan niyo naman po kami about your life. I'm Evie Quadra. Ako ang bunso sa limang magkakapatid. I'm married to Roger Quadra and have one daughter. So, God had called me to be part of the ministry way back, way, way, way back when I was young. <laughs> and then, um, I'm part of the primary leaders ng Life Church. I work as a full-time full -time workers dito. And at the same time, uh, I am handling the canteen concessionaires and also i am handling special events such as such as yung mga weddings yung mga baptism yung mga events na bigla ang dumarating sa atin and I'm part of that ministry. Ang dami palang hinahawakan ni Tita Evie. Maliban po doon ay napag-alaman po natin na Tita Evie ay isa siya po sa mga first batch, talaga the pioneering uh, staff po ng ating uh, yes. Life Renewal Christian Ministries yes. dito. Way back 1981? 1982. 1982. Yes. So talagang on her, talagang dinedicate niya po yung kanyang uh, years po ng kanyang kabataan sa pagmimisyon. Yes. At dat, dati nga parang ang sabi niyo, di ba po, parang ilang buwan lang kayo dito. Uh -oh. At uh -huh. ngayon ilang years na po kayo sa Palawan? Uh, bumalik ako ng 1998. Uh, ilang uh -huh. years na ba yun? So matagal-tagal na talaga. So kumbaga, konti lang yung umalis ako. Pero yung 37 years natin, siguro mga 35 o 32. 32 years mm -hmm. akong nandito sa Life Church. Amazing. So ngayon po, pag-uusapan po natin, Tita Evie, kwento niyo naman po sa amin. Kasi po, uh, hindi po lingid sa atin na talagang may pinagdaanan kayong napakalaking pagsubok yes. that it almost took your life. Yes. So pakinggan po natin yung story po ngayon ni Tita Evie. <laughs> Siyempre, nung nasa ministry ka, you're serving as, di ba nasabi ko kanina, I'm part of the event ng church. 
So that time, there is an event here in the church, and I am serving the guests food and everything, catering and everything. And then during that serving, something happened to me. I really felt so bad na hindi na ako makahinga at umiiyak na ako sa isang tabi kasi uh, I, I cannot uh, throw the ball because ongoing ang, ang ministry dito. And yet, nahihirapan akong huminga. ba diba na? So, yun yung nangyari sa akin. And then, uh, pastor told me to go. I, I, I went to Manila for an executive checkup and there I found out that I have uh, three veins on my body, on my heart that needs to be operated. Siyempre, eh, sabi ko, Lord, hindi mo bibigay yan ang hindi basta-basta ganun lang. So, so sabi ko, sabi ko, Lord, hindi po ako, uh, ikaw po ang bahala sa amin. So, I went back home from Manila to Palawan and tell my family what is happening. And then, sabi ko, Lord, uh, hindi biro ang triple bypass operation. And it's too expensive and I don't know where are we going to get that money. Uh, hindi siya biro. <laughs> Diba? Ano po yung una yung reaction nung sinabi ng doktor na ikaw ay may problema sa iyong puso at kinakailangan kang operahan? Siyempre, umiyak ako. Siyempre, ano, uh, downcast ako. Sabi ko, Lord, nagmi-ministry ako. Bakit ganito? Sabi ko ganon. And I really don't know what to do. Um, hindi ko alam kung saan ako hahawak. But thank God, God's word is so powerful. So, when I was praying, God gave me the word in 2 Kings chapter 5. It's about the story of Naaman, the leper. And then God told me that that uh, you need to undergo the process. Kasi at first, I don't want to go the operation. Ayoko. Sabi ko, my God is so big that He can heal me. And nothing is impossible unto God. So sabi ko, Lord, kaya mo akong pagalingin. Pero when I was meditating and asking God what to do, He gave me a word in 2 Kings chapter 5. And then, in the story of Naaman nga. And then God told me, you need to undergo the process. What strike me most in that word is that, di ba ang sabi ng Lord kay, kay, sandali lang po ah, basahin natin yung word ni, ni God. Sabi ni Lord kay, kay Naaman, you need to dip yourself doon sa, sa water, to the, doon sa Jordan River. Tapos sabi ng Lord, sabi ni Naaman, bakit doon pa, napaka doon, sa lahat naman ng, na mga river, ito pa yung pinakamaruming river, but dun mo ko. Pero sabi ng Lord, you need to wash and be cleansed. That's the word. Wash and be cleansed. So God need to wash me. That's why I need to go to the process and be cleansed from all the, the sickness or ano man yung meron sa buhay ko. Dapat linisin ng Panginoon. Pero take note ha, Everybody take note. Pain is real. Totoo yun. <laughs> Yan na. <laughs> Tita Evie. Yan na. Masakit kasi hindi ko alam ang gagawin ko. And, and, they, and sinabi sa akin ng doktor na I need to be operated. Ganito, ganyan. You will be dead seven hours. Wow. And my heart will be removed from my body. And sabi ko, Lord, Talong ko pa nga sa Lord, sa, sa doctor, what, ano yung, ano yung guaranteed ko na mabubuhay ako? Kasi, double yun eh. If you will be operated and not to, to be operated the same, you will undergo death. Kasi, pag hindi ako na-operahan, chances are, may stroke ako. Praise God lang. God had given me a strong body na hindi pa ako nagkakaroon ng stroke. But eventually, it will come. 
uh-huh. sabi ng doktor sa akin. So actually, it took me one month before I made the decision. Umuwi pa po ba kayo dito yes, sa Palawan? Yes, umuwi pa ako dito and it uh-huh. took me one month before I made the decision na talaga magpapa-opera ako. Teka po, Tita Evie, ano naman po yung naging reaction ni Pachi dahil naging isa siyang anak? At syempre po si Tito Roger, nung nalaman po nilang <laughs> kailangan ko operahan at ito yung process ng pag-oopera sa'yo na kailangang tanggalin yung heart mo from your body at uh, you will be parang dead, talagang medically dead for seven hours. Yes, yes. So ano po naging reaction ah, nila? Naka... Masarap lang talaga kapag may pamilya ka who will support you. Actually, they are the one who is insisting magpa-opera ka, ah, magpa-opera ka, pero ako yung ayaw. Kasi sabi ko, number one, financially, I don't have that big amount. Take note, the operation will will to, uh, aabot siya ng 1.5 M. San wow. ka magnanakaw ng 1.5 M in that instant event. One month lang, kailangan ko kung ma-produce yung 1.5 million. But, sabi nga, ano, sabi nga ng ano, ng, ng mga ang tawag to, <laughs> naiyak na ako, ng family, no! You will go, uh, ano to, uh, oper- you will be operated. And everybody from the family supported me. Uh, I Alam, heard po yung pamangkin niyo na si Ryan Kerante ay isa sa mga yes. arith, arrhythmia nurses. Yes. Nung time she, po na uh, he, he formerly uh, uh, an ner- uh, arrhythmia nurse in St. Luke's where the operation has done. Uh-huh. So blessing talaga yun, guys. When you are in the Lord, nothing is impossible. Come on. Dahil, di ba sabi ko nga 1.5 M. So sabi ko, Lord, saan kami kukuha noon? But God provided everything. Would you believe for the first time, the surgeon just gave me 120,000 professional fee? Wow. Normally saan, po ba magkano normally, yun? Normally, aabot siya ng 300 to 400,000. And the greatest part of it is that binigyan niya pa ako ng installment. Six Six months payable ang aking cheque. Wow. So, hindi niya ako siningil. And yung aking cardio, <laughs> naiyak lang ako ha. Kasi talagang blessing ng Lord. Siningil niya lang po ako ng 100 pesos. What? Yes. That's Amazing! 100 pesos. Grabe po. So, kinumpute ko talaga 1.5 expenses namin. Plus, syempre, the support of the family. Somebody... Uh, gave me pa- money and and the church gave me money and I was able to support that. I was able to pay. At the most amazing thing is that even my doctor told me in six days they want me to be out of the hospital. Ang bilis. Six days and uh-huh. I, I I have friends na umabot ng. Wow. One month or more sa hospital, ako six days lang recovered na ako. At ang, ang, ang aking recovery ay sa bahay na lang. Amazing. Kaya sabi ko, Lord, yes, that's right. Miracle still happen because this is my second life. And this second life, talagang sinabi ko sa Lord, Lord, kung, kung, kung kukunin mo ako, kunin mo ako. Pero if you're gonna use me, I will be used by you, God. Yun lang. Wow. So, that is the amazing thing na binigay sa akin ng Lord. And up to this present, to be honest with you, to be uh, by uh, triple bypass operated, maraming, um, maraming pang mga bagay na pwedeng ma, ano ka tawag doon, ma-infected ka. Ma, madali kang ma, bumaba ang immune system mo. And yet, Up to this present, to be honest with you, three years na akong surviving. Wow! Yes, imagine three years na akong surviving from this bypass. And within that three years, maraming pagsubok pa rin na nangyayari. Mm-hmm. Yang COVID-19 natin yan, kaya natin labanan yan. Because yes. more than this COVID, kaya ng gawin ng langgad yan. Again, I was tested last November. 
biglang humina yung aking lungs. So, siguro yung iba sa inyo na pansin na nawala ako noong November at saka noong February kasi humina talaga yung aking lang. So, I need to go back to Manila to be checked up again. And, alam mo, ang bait-bait ng Lord. Yun ang gusto ko sabihin. Come on. Kasi, before things happen, ipaparamdam na niya sa akin. At pag naramdaman ko, gagawa ako ng way na, Lord, kailangan ako magpa-check up. And I found out when I go back to Manila last November, nagkaroon pala ng infection ang aking baga. And and that in, infection, itong, itong COVID, yun yun. Mararamdaman mo, baka magkaroon ka ng, ng pulmonya, magkaroon ka ng ano, mga komplikasyon. komplikasyon. But praise God, easily, within one week, God healed me again. Wow, grabe. Kaya nga sabi ko, Lord, Lord, talagang hindi ako magpapahinto, Lord, kapag kapag lumabas itong mga sakit na to sa akin. Nakaka-encourage pong pakinggan dahil Tita Evie has a choice. May choice po siya nung time na yun na nalaman niya na kinakailangan niya mag-undergo ng tatlong by- bypass operation. Pwede siyang pwede yung sabihin na ayoko na Lord, kunin mo na lang ako. Yes. Pero nakita po natin how car- courageous and brave po siya na sabihin na Lord, kung gagamitin niyo pa po ako, buhayin mo ako. Kaya kung nakikinig ka sa amin ngayon at feeling mo katapusan na ng mundo, pakinggan natin yung story ni Tita Evie. Yes. I-recall natin how God can miraculously do amazing things sa buhay mo. Tandaan mo, the name of Jesus is above Any yes, other names. Yes, ano yes, mang pangalan yes. ng sakit yan? You're going through tough times ngayon dahil may sakit ka sa puso, may sakit ka sa baga, meron kang HIV and AIDS, meron kang pneumonia, o meron kang uh, nagkaroon ka ng uh, time sa ICU. Wag na ko po mas mataas, mas makapangyarihan ang pangalan ni Jesus. Yes. Just mention. Yes. And talagang yes. anuhin niyo po yung name ng Panginoong Jesus. So, Tita Evie, yes. tanong ko lang po, no, kasi... Uh, napakarami niyo pong responsibility and talagang hindi po natatapos yun. I think pagkatapos po ng operation, bumalik po kayo agad sa inyong trabaho. Yes, after six months, I went back sa work. Uh, Siyempre, dahan-dahan, hinay-hinay, but still, God had given me the strength to do it. Kasi, sabi ng Lord sa sa 2 Corinthians 12.9, sabi niya ganon, My grace is sufficient for you, For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. It's really by the grace of God that's why I am standing in front of you, uh-huh. alive, kicking, yes. and have this strength. Pero sabi ko kanina, di ba, pain is real. Talagang totoo yun, nararamdaman ko yun. And there are moments na in my mind, Aside from the physical pain, meron ka pang battle in your mind eh. Uh-huh. Ang battle mo sa mind mo, nagsasabing, hala, maihina ka na. Hindi mo na kaya yan. Andyan yung, andyan yung mamamatay ka na. May mga ganong, talagang ang daming, the devil is trying to to put negative thoughts in my mind. Like, like tignan mo, hindi ka man lang nila pinapansin. Pagod na pagod ka na, ganyan ka pa rin. Hindi ka man lang nila tinutulungan. And yet, I am not serving men, but I am serving God. Come And on. that strength give me the power to continue. At saka, alam mo nakakatuwa kasi i-equip ka talaga ni Lord eh. Bibigyan ka niya ng strength para makaya mo lahat yung nangyayari sa atin. Amazing. Yun. So, ngayon po talaga sa mga uh, viewers po natin ngayon, I think marami pong nanonood sa atin ngayon, Tita Evi, hindi lamang po dito sa Puerto Princesa, but also in Manila. And I think marami po talagang pinagdadaanan ngayon ng mga tao. Yes, yes. Hindi lamang po uh, yung mental na ano na mangyayari sa atin ngayon dahil uh, uh, ECQ ngayon, yeah. ano mangyayari sa business. For sure, there are people ngayon na merong, alam mo silent lang, pero may pinagdadaan 
ng karamdaman. Yes. Ayaw lang nilang sabihin. Mm -hmm. Pero bago nyo po ibigay yung inyong three points, nais nating batiin po mga taga Brooks Point, Miss Janet Quino, si Tin Ku, dyan po sa San Manuel, Rhea Alcantara sa Siksikan, Ate Malu, Gabuco, Mafe Gamusa, San Vicente, Palawan pa po ito, Romerson, Matienza, si Con Con, good morning po sa Manila, si Darwin Abe, of course, eto, sabi po ni Miss Hannah Lobato, Ninang Ganda Ko, Love You, Ninang Evie, from Hannah, at si Lady Lilani, uh, Ganda ng Guest, oh, Tita Evie. So, of course, from Tintin Kirante, ito po ay taga uh, Bureau of Immigration, Go Tita, Glory to God for your life. Of course, maraming maganda umaga po sa napakagandang Miss Coley Manese. Ipopost po namin ang iyong mga paintings po dito sa aming set. Si Lynn Dako, si Ate Maret Dangan, your life story, Ate Evie, inspires us so much. God bless us always. Si Kelly Tamayosa, uh, Gloria Gonzalez, uh, Ging Garcia, Evangeline Riva, Jerick Siason, Marilu Sabinet, at si Coach V. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsusubaybay. So ngayon po, Tita Evie, ano po ba yung advice, ano ba yung tatlong points sa pwede niyong ipabigay? Of course, nanunood po ngayon live at andyan po siya ngayon sa labas ang prayer warrior and lifetime partner po ni Tita Evie. Napakagwapong Tito Roger Quadra. So, ano po ang may, pwede niyong may advice, Ate Evie, sa lahat po nang nakikinig po sa atin. And for sure, hindi lamang sa labas but dito rin sa studio, probably yung mga magulang nila is going through the same thing that you are uh, ano, ano ba yung mapapayo nyo po, lalong-lalo na for those fighting for their lives. Yes. Sabi sa Isaiah 54.17, No weapon form against you shall prevail. Sabi ganon, and you will repute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servant of God. Yes, no weapon, no hindrance, no COVID, no sickness. Come on. Diabetes pa yan, high blood pa yan. Whatever it is will Come not on. stop us. It cannot go against us because what the devil intended to harm us, God intended it for our own good. Come on. Three things I want to share to you. First, completely trust in God. Kasi kapag, tandaan mo, sabi sa, sa John 15, God is the vine and we are the branches. The, the branches cannot go on unless it is attached to the vine. And as we are attached in the Lord, completely dependent on Him, trusting in Him, for sure, nothing of this problem will stop us. That's right. Secondly, obey the Word of God. Alam mo, lagi ko itong sinasabi sa disciple ko, kapag wala kang word from the Lord, babaksak ka. Mm -hmm. Pero kapag may word ka sa Lord, that will uh, push you to, to, to continue the journey, to continue the, the, the work na gusto mong gawin. Kasi yung word ng God ang magbibigay sa atin, ang mag ignite sa iyo. And lastly, do your part. Mm. Meaning, alam mong bawal, Bawal. Tama. Pag sinabing hindi, hindi, hindi. huwag tayong pasaway. And uh, on my part, I am doing my my part as nag exercise ako. I'm eating healthy food. I'm il uh, eating what is needed to be para sa akin. Kasi para sa akin din to eh. Later on, kung, kung mag... mag pasaway-saway lang ako, ano mangyayari sa akin? That's right. ba? Diba? So, I make sure, kung kailangan magpahinga, magpahinga. Kung may nararamdaman ka, umupo ka muna sandali. But that will not stop you in doing the work God wants you to do. So, and lastly, last na po ito. Ayan, nawala na ako. Tandaan natin, when nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and lay bare before the eyes of Him to whom we must give account. Meaning, lahat ng nangyayari sa'yo, alam ni God yan. It's up to you whether you will obey or not. Kasi minsan, pasaway din talaga tayo. That's right. <laughs> but Lord, we give it all to you, Lord God. And that is my last word sa inyo. Magtiwala lang sa Lord. Let the word of God be with you. And do your part. 
That's right. Tama po yung mga sinabi ni Tita Evi. Kaya kung ikaw po ay nakikinig sa amin ngayon at nanunood, talagang very encouraging po ang life ni Tita Evi. She's a living testimony that God can make miracles even at this time. Even at times sa, sa akala mo ay walang nangyayari sa iyong buhay. Alam mo, kumikilos ang Panginoon. Hindi man makita ng ating physical na mata, pero open the eyes of your faith. God is moving in your life. Huwag kang mawawalan ng pag-asa. Kaya po, maraming maraming salamat yes. po, Tita Evi. Grabe pong yes. pigil-pigil po namin dito sa studio, <laughs> sa aming pong pag-iyak. Yes. Pero po, sa totoo lang po, nasa Diyos ang himala, nasa tao pa rin ang gawa. Tama po sinabi ni Tita Evi, makipag-cooperate po tayo. Number one, tayo po ay magtiwala sa Panginoon. Number two, huwag po nating hahayaan na tayo ay lumayo bagkos tayo pa rin po ay sumunod. At number three, ang sabi niya po, do your part. Do Amen. your part. Hindi lang po faith ang binigay sa atin ni Lord. Binigyan din po tayo ng Panginoon ng wisdom. Yes. So sa lahat po ng nanood po sa atin, maraming maraming salamat po. Miss Erlinda Rojas, ganda mo, sister. <laughs> si Miss Maxi Makirante, go sister, mga kapatid mo ito. At Tita Evi, <laughs> hindi lamang po sa Manila, kundi po sa US. Si Chi Maran, from Singapore. I'm the one also po merong operation before. I experienced how hard it is, but God is so Amen. good. Amen. At yes. sinabi pa ni Pachi, ang malapit na ikasala si Pachi, love you mama, God is our healer. Yes, Indeed, yes. God is our healer. Kaya po ako po si Heather Tihada Orias at ito po ang ating real talk tandaan, God can still make miracles. miracles. Yes, amen. God is...